Hello and welcome back to our inventory system series. In the last episode we started work on our container inventories and in this episode we're going to finish them off with some drag and drop functionality allowing the player to drag items from one inventory to another and back again. So let's get started. Okay, so if we go check out our chest, what we did last time, um, we need to be able to transfer items across to our chest. Now at the moment we have an issue where we were picking up an item and if we go up to a chest and drag it over to a chest, nothing happens on the client side. That's because we have not set, or I have not set, the chest to replicate. So in order for all the replication stuff to happen, this class defaults need to be set to replicates. So we'll do that, push play. And now as a client view, I can go into here, pick up the apple, go in my chest, right there for example, and go to my other screen, my other player here, and go look at the chest. And I see the contents there is matching up, okay? So we've got a syncing going on between clients and server and server the clients. That's all working fine. However, the issue now arises is if I've got another Apple say in my inventory and I want to add it to that inventory rather than swapping it. We don't have that functionality in there just yet. It will just swap straight away. So what I need to do is make it so that I can easily go in and make it stack those items across. Okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, this is actually handled on a function we've really started work on. That is on the inventory system over on transfer slots in transfer slots we have this thing over here which is determining the items whether or not they're the same if they're the same then we want it to try and add it to that existing stack right so let's first of all go through how this is going to work we first of all need to do the set array element stuff like normal that's fine so let's Drag in our inventory uh, source. Okay, again, this is from the input of our transfer slots here. And from there, we're going to get the content. Get content. And we're going to do set array element. And that's going to go into the true side of that branch there. The index is going to be the source index, which again is another pin from over here. I'm going to drag this out and search for source index. But the item we're going to split. So right click and split this. Get access to the item name and the item quantity. So what's going to be the purpose of this is that say I'm dragging from my container grid into my player's grid, but say I don't have enough, I have too many to fill up that one stack. I'm going to leave some behind. Okay, and this is going to determine how many I'm leaving behind, if any at all. So in here, we are going to determine whether or not we're using an item using a select node. And this condition for the select is going to come from a calculation to work out whether or not we have too many to stack. Okay, so we're going to give us some so gives us some space. Uh, first thing we do is do it content, and we're going to get a copy of the destination index and we need to split this open we need to hold that quantity uh, then I want to get my local value that I stored at the start here and this was done prior in this bit here I'm going to take this out and I'm going to do um, split get the two quantities there so I've got two quantities from the both different uh, slots so we're going to add these two together work out what it is in total and then i want to work out if it's bigger or smaller than the max stack size now we've already got get max stack size as a function so i'm going to drag this out and plug in our item id there so let's take out our plus and do minus and subtract the get max stack size so if this is um, anything higher than zero, then that means we've got some left over. Okay. So, long. and we're going to take this value and clamp it between zero and the maximum, which is going to be 
max stack size. Okay. And if this value here, yeah, let me just move this along. If this return value here is greater than zero, that'll be my condition for my select node. And if it's false, it'll be left than none. But if it is greater than zero, that means there's still some left behind. So I'm going to get my local slot content again and split this. I'll put the item I in the true. And the quantity, um, we're not going to worry about just yet because that is going to come from here, over here. So take out this clamp and put that in the item quantity. Okay. Next, we need to change the content on this local inventory slot. We get content set array element, and the index is going to be destination index. That'll be which slot we'd put it into. In the item again, we're going to split, and the item ID is going to come from our content ID here. Let's drag that across. And the item quantity is going to be uh, the addition of the two together. So we've really got that code over here. I'm going to copy it. And that over here. But we also need to make sure we are clamping this value like we have done over here. So we copy that over and clamp the value there return value into there and the max will be our get max stack size Put that in there so okay so the remainder goes where we dragged from and the destination gets the new amount okay and then we'll make use of our mc updates that we made prior and do it on this one as well as the source one as well source inventory and do mc update on that as well okay compile and save okay so let's take a look at how this looks in action so for this i'm going to make a duplicate of my apple here so i'll make a few of them yeah and hit play okay let's go with my server view here so i'm going to pick up one apple and I'm going to put it in the chest then i'm going to go pick up another apple i'll pick up another two there you go go over to the chest and i've got two and one if i drag this one to this two hopefully this comes three there you are three and we've now got a complete stack combined with these two here now, at the moment, our apple is set to a maximum stack size of 10. Let's put more than 10 apples in here. Uh, in fact, actually, better yet, let's make our character start with some apples. Maybe and actually our chest, we'll do a chest here. Chest, content, and we're gonna do apple, quantity, we'll do as uh, 10. Okay, so max stack size of 10 in there. And hit file and save that. So check that. There you go, 10 apples. Okay. Now, if I go pick up another bunch here, got three. It should add seven to this one to maximum to 10, and then leaving three over here. There you go, 10, three. And this is, of course, all replicated as well now because if I put this over here, I've got three in this chest. And if I go over to my client view and look at the chest, I've got three left there. Okay, and I'll take that back. This client's taking these ones. I go over to the uh, server. And you can see they're gone from here too. Okay, so now we've got that all working all fine. And there we have it. We've now got our containers in our world and functioning correctly. In the next episode, we're going to start work on our action menu. 
allowing us to right click on items in our inventory and then setting us to be able to use it or drop it into the world. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley where you can watch all my videos early before everyone else from just $1 a month. Massive thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. If you're watching this and you're not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.